Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of our SmackDown vs. Raw General Manager Mode series. This is Nearfall Gaming. I am D. We're not going to waste any of your time. We're going to get right into the preview of our October 25th edition of SmackDown. Match number one is just a triple threat exhibition cruiserweight action. This time featuring the champion, Chavo, taking on Kenny Dykstra and Sabu. Both Kenny and Sabu have picked up a couple victories in cruiserweight action throughout the past couple of weeks. So we're going to see, test their mettle a little bit up against the champion. Match number two, we've got a United States Championship match. This is the first title defense for Marcus Corvon since becoming United States Champion just two weeks ago up against Mr. Kennedy. And... It is He is defending his United States Championship up against King Booker, who will of course be accompanied by Finley, who delivered quite the ass whooping to William Regal just a week ago. Match number three, Elijah Burke versus Rey Mysterio. Now, Rey Mysterio is hot. He is livid. He is yelling at Teddy Long in his office to open up the show, maybe between match one and two. But Rey Mysterio does not appreciate the action taken by MVP last week and Chris Masters in their match. He is unsatisfied with the way that his title matchup against Bobby Lashley ended in that double countout. And quite frankly, he just wants some answers and he wants a shot back at MVP or Chris Masters or Bobby Lashley. He doesn't care who, but he wants his he wants to get his hands on somebody. Um not Bobby Lashley, excuse me, MVP or Chris Masters because he is trying to actually claim his innocence against Bobby Lashley uh, as he is being accused of being the one to attack Bobby Lashley last week. Uh, General Manager Teddy Long says, Leia, I cannot do that for you. You're already scheduled in a match and MVP and Chris Masters are already scheduled in a match tonight. So you should get ready. It's up against Elijah Burke. And that is how we are brought here. Rey Mysterio, not very happy about it, but he will abide by what needs to be done. Match number three is not a match. It is uh, the main event, actually. It's not match number three. It's match number four. I am all over the place. Please excuse me. <laughs> Just a four-match card this evening, and it is Chris Masters and MVP challenging the Hardy Boys for the tag team titles in our main event this evening. MVP had some pull back in the locker room and was able to get Teddy Long to grant this title match. Matt and Jeff Hardy aren't exactly thrilled about their tactics towards Ray, and they are good friends of Ray, so they're happy to kind of accept that match and get their hands on MVP and Chris Masters a little bit. So that is our main event for the tag team titles two matches on the line this evening so we've got to get right into it we've got to confirm and proceed match number one the triple threat we are simulating javito uh wins the match this is not a title match but the champion comes out strong here sabu is the one who takes the pin not kenny otherwise uh this kayfabe is all correct here match number two is going to be king booker and marcus corvon you know since it is a legitimate title match, we will be playing this matchup. The following contest is scheduled for will King Booker be able to regain his championship, or will Marcus Corvon have a successful title defense? Stay tuned. Well, this is our first, our first glimpse of Corvon as champion, if I do believe. If I, if I do believe so, yeah. Ooh, that looks good. It's looking good. Very nice. The United States champion, Marcus Corvon. We're going to go ahead and proceed. Here we go. King Booker, Marcus Corvon. We're getting into it. Wow. Okay. okay, nope. There we go. Hit him with a spear to get things going. Let's go, Book. We're just, we're just here to whoop that ass today. We are playing as the champion. We're going to try to get a successful defense. However, if King Booker does in fact pull out the W here and regain the United States Championship, I am prepared. 
there is a storyline that <laughs> that matches that as well however we are most certainly going for the united states championship to be successfully defended There we go, Corvon. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, yeah. What is this? Okay. <laughs> it's like the Superman punch before the Superman punch was a thing. Uh, Superman punch. Um, Roman Reigns loved the character, but the Superman punch is still uh, such a garbage move, and I hate it. <laughs> but, um, you know, I might, I might be the minority in that one. Oh, oh God. No, don't you do it. 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 There we go. Nicely done, Corvon. Nicely done. This superstar is all fired up. And so is this capacity crowd. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, get him. Playing a nice little technical acumen, reversing everything I'm trying to do beyond the first, the first strike. Oh, not that time. Oh, that ring I should, I should have changed it when I was messing around with his finishers and his move set. Oh, uh oh! Don't you do it! Don't you do it! There we go. Very nice. Very nicely done, Corvon. Very nice. Stop on his face. Let's go. Ooh. I lost a great deal of momentum there because Marcus Corvon is a lineman. This little leg drop there. Okay. Uh, not what I was going for. But that's what we got. Come on, King. Ooh. Double axe handle. There we go. Very nice. Oh, Booker, he's not backing down, man. He's not backing down. Ooh. No vertical suplex? Fisherman? Okay, he's Fisherman. There we go. There we go. There we go, nice gore. Okay, that's what you get for fucking reversing me, Booker, you bitch. His eyes are closed. This might be three. I don't think it is. Oh, man, the suspense there was killing me. Golly, the balls on Marcus Corvon to be wrestling with those big-ass hoop earrings, man. Gosh, the fact that he doesn't take those out. <laughs> okay, nice nice kick out, Book, but we got, we got to end your life now a little bit, my brother. <laughs> Oh gosh, my reversals. There we go. Got him. Got him. Boom. Boom. Okay, very Very, very Come on, Corvon. Come on. Oh my gosh. Booker, you fucker. Stop it. <laughs> oh, okay. Ooh, big chop. Big chop. Okay. I'm going to bring you over here. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Get him off of there. Oh, I lost so much momentum for that. Wow. This is what you get, Gary Kubiak, you son of a bitch. You didn't tell me. There's no warning screen <laughs> that told me I was about to sacrifice all of my momentum for that. Alrighty, there we go. We're real close to having another finisher. That's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, oh, <laughs> uh, that's, man, I didn't, I didn't, 
Okay, that whiff at the air, that was my finisher. That uh, you can still perform your finisher even when there's no character model anywhere near uh, your character model. That man, that is <laughs> that's disappointing. But we're gonna bounce back and we're gonna come back stronger than ever before, right? But Booker has got to stop reversing all my shit, man. I ain't gonna stop reversing your shit though. Oh, okay. 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 Let's try. Let's try. Oh. Damn, son. Oh, damn, son. Booker's making it look cool. All right. Oh, this match would have been over if I wasn't an idiot. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do not have that luxury. These superstars are so unpredictable. I'm having a hard time figuring out what Get up, Govan. Get up, Govan. I don't think you're going to be able to just sit back Oof. and enjoy the ride. And what a wild ride now it's I'm been so you far. In that same hole. Oh, okay, of course you can. He made his opponent look like a chump. Damn, son, he is reversing everything except for my every seventh move he lets me hit otherwise he's you see what i'm saying man you see what i'm saying that's for sure this match might have been over by now if they had 90% of a match in the preparation oh that was some bull hunkus i was trying to get out there kick him right in the back of the knee again okay this time I should have known. I should have. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. That's so disappointing. That is so disappointing. <laughs> I did it again. Uh, that's that. The fact that that move is uh, <laughs> that free is gonna be a problem. Let's see. Okay. Nope. Couldn't hit it. Couldn't hit it. And he's gonna continue to reverse my shit. Oh, come on. There we go. Ugh. I gain momentum rather quickly, but boy, do I lose it as well. I lose it awfully quick. Okay, Book. Okay, Book. He's starting to fight back. He's starting to fight back. He's trying to get that U.S. championship belt. He's trying to get that title back. Homie held it for like five months, so. Close to it. Do it. Oh, son of a bitch. Nice spear. Oh, I didn't actually mean to pin, but we'll give it a try. You know, and the dose. And nope. Okay, couldn't get it there. Couldn't, couldn't get it there. That's okay. God, he's reversing it. Everything! Not that, though. Not that. Mm mm. No wake up taunt. No. There we go. We got it. We got. It. We got it. We finally hit it, and not the air. Uno, dos, three, for the successful retention. Nicely done, Corvan. And Marcus Corvan successfully defends his United States champion. He's here to stay as the champ. He ain't gonna give it away after a week. He is not William Regal. Nicely done. Nicely done, champ. Moving on to match number three. Elijah Burke, Rey Mysterio, simulate. Oh, what the fuck, man? I thought for sure I tried putting MVP in his corner to, you know, sure up the victory. Rey Mysterio picks up the dub. Elijah Burke does not pick up the dub. Uh, Elijah Burke is on a bit of a cold streak and does not get a victory over top tier Rey Mysterio. No, sir. Uh, Rey Mysterio picks up the win in kayfabe. I apologize for the end. Now, match number four, I did not talk about this in the preview. Edge cuts a promo. He comes out to the ring demanding that Kane shows up. And there's no Kane. Kane is nowhere to be seen. Kane doesn't respond. He doesn't appear on the Titantron. He doesn't send any pyro out or anything. Edge is just talking to himself. He's out in the ring and he's talking to himself. And so Edge decides to take matters into his own hands. He heads into the back and he goes looking for Kane. 
and he does not find Kane. He finds Snitsky. He thinks it's Kane. He uh, mistakes Snitsky for Kane. Uh, Snitsky doesn't win this parking lot brawl. Um, but, you know, he he brutally assaults Snitsky and attacks, attacks him and um, really fucks him up with uh, a chair and hits him with a concerto and everything like that. And Edge is just losing it. And he's, you know, just like starting to eat his hair after he pulls it. <laughs> you know, this is just crazy. And he's just not happy that he didn't find Kane. But that doesn't stop him from not beating the shit out of Snitsky. And so Edge just absolutely relentless and lets loose on Snitsky. And Snitsky might be written off TV for a while. Who knows? <laughs> but it was a pretty bad attack. That's for sure. Um, it didn't get a graphic in the match preview or in the show preview because it was a, a backstage segment that uh, was really more of an attack than a match. So we're going to carry on to the main event, which is the tag team title match between the Hardy Boys and MVP and Chris Masters. And here they come. No tent necessary because we got two of these gentlemen coming out. MVP. Chris Masters, they're going to be battling, vying for the Tag Team Championships. Not a bad team, honestly, but uh, Chris Masters makes MVP look a lot bigger than MVP is. Or maybe MVP makes Chris Masters look small. Either way, we got these boys stepping out to the ring. And the question remains... Who is going to be able to unseat these tag team champions? They've been champs since the Great American Bash. So we're sitting at about three and a half months for this title reign. They defended against Chris Masters and Carlito. Now can Chris Masters and MVP get the job done? Here we go. Here we go. It's no time with these tag team matches. Oh, God, Jeff. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Motherfucker. These superstars have been given everything they've got all night. Wow, he, he did that full front flip. Very nice. Okay, big DDT there by Chris Masters. All right. At least we got that one. At least we got the shoulder check. Come on, Chris. Come on, Chris. Oof, not the move I was looking for. Looking for more of a rebound move there. But um, we're going to try again. Get him into the corner. Get a tag in. Hit him with the double team. Let's go. Nice. All right. Oh yeah, that technicality boy. That 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 is a little OP, I think. Um, I, I mean, it it does wear off kind of quick, but the fact that it was just automatically oh, <laughs> do a reversal on a grapple move, that's um, pretty rough. Here we go, Chris. Okay, get your technicality on. Oh, okay, Matt Hardy is a technical superstar as well. I'm not sure if I would put that as so secondary, but not mad at it. I mean, he's kind of like a jack of all trades. I feel like Matt Hardy's not bad at it. Um, what is he great at? You know, um, in this, at this stage of his career, uh, in this, in this gimmick. Um, nice, nice, nice. We're just gonna keep staying in with those tags. Keep these boys fresh. Boom! All right, very nice. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Oh, okay, with the pin. Not a good pin. I like that though. Nice spear there, MVP. MVP ski. Oh, big German. Beautiful German. Let's go. 
All right. I'll even give him the momentum for it because that was just so beautiful. I wanted it to play out. This is gonna be big. MVP! There we go. Okay, MVP is feeling it today, boys. Nice. Can we hit the playmaker on him? Can we hit the playmaker on him? Nope. Not yet. Ooh, okay. Okay, MVP. He still hasn't been damaged enough to not reverse everything. I like it. Nice back flip there by Matt Hardy. Okay, couldn't reverse that one. Couldn't reverse that one. It's unfortunate. Nardi's now about to gain all of the momentum. Ooh, unfortunately for him, he lost all of the momentum. He lost all of it. Every little bit of it. I'm back here. Okay, tags in his brother. Tags in the brother. Get out the way. Ooh, big German suplex. All right. Golly. MVP has such a nice moveset. I had no idea. I'm just going to throw him back into the corner. There we go. Hit up our boy Chris. Keep these double teams going. Keep stomping on him. Keep stomping on him. Stomp on him some more. There you go. Oh, hit him with the Boston Crab. I, I don't want to do that. It's going to be a rope break. Rope break. Thank you, Gary. Oh, okay, Jeff. Trying to get a spark going a little bit. Oh, well, these bastards just never make anything easy on me, do they? All right. Oh, I already did this move. I didn't want to do it again. Okay. Explosive. Boom! Doesn't matter. There we go. Get up there, MVP. Now, hey, Jeff Hardy. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. Now, pin your partner. Uh, and immediately kicked out. I wanted to see what would have happened had it let me uh, play it out. You know, if he takes three, who wins? Who are the champions? Big impactful leg drop there. Nice little, nice little spear. Get out of here. Oh, you fucker. Pick him up. Quick, 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 quick. Before, your, before his brother gets up. He's probably already up, but we're going to try it. Hey, oh! Holy! Okay. One, two. We got it. Yeah! New Tag Team Champions! Let's go! New Tag Team Champs! MVP Chris Masters! I'll tell you one thing. I'm thankful. I'm thankful that that match didn't take 25 minutes. Look at that. What a shot. What a shot. But that is, what you see is what you get, folks. Chris Masters is an MVP. You know, they they had different partners all throughout the series. Uh, Chris Masters didn't really have much of a partner throughout most of the series. But, you know, the, they both had took attempts to win the tag team championships. And all of their attempts prior to this were unsuccessful. And it turns out the, the right partner that they needed was on the roster the whole time. And they didn't even know it. <laughs> so, the Hardy Boys finally lose their tag team champions uh, cleanly. But, <laughs> when I say cleanly, I don't mean that clean. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's Chris Masters and MVP that we're dealing with. 
but the the story of the week in all of WWE, Bobby Lashley makes his return. Bobby Lashley makes his return. That's right. And he beelines it for the ring, and it looks like he's coming straight to whoop MVP's ass. But he actually takes out Jeff Hart or Matt Hardy, whoever the legal man is at the time, because the ref is down, and he aligns himself with MVP. It looks like he took MVP up on his offer, after all. And MVP is basically given a fresh path, a a beaten down Matt Hardy who just got, who just took a dominator. And MVP takes the pin and wins the championship belt or the championship titles for he and Chris Masters. And so Bobby Lashley, already the world champion, standing tall now with his tag team champion buddies. Huge, huge main event. And it really changes the landscape of power of everything here on SmackDown. Did Bobby Lashley just turn heel? Did he just team up with MVP? In 2007? What? What? A whole lot of stuff happening. But we got some weekly shenanigans to get to before we call this an episode. So we're going to simulate over to Raw. Let's check out what the other shows did. And how we will continue to lose fans despite producing the better show. Half a star. Two and a half star. Three star. Now remember, Kali and Sandman are tag team champions. And they're going up against one another. Uh, JTG, I don't know who was previously the Intercontinental Champion, but I know JTG has been the Intercontinental Champion at least once before in the series, so good for him, JTG. Uh, Handicap. I wonder if John Cena will be Undertaker's next uh, challenger for the WWE Championship. Four-star match. Man, I would love the benefit of the doubt that these shows get. (laughs) Two blank matches. Shad and Mark Henry once again. Kelly Kelly, Rick Rude. And then our main event is going to be a huge match. Kelly Kelly, or Rick Rude is the ECW champion, mind you. And he just lost to Kelly Kelly. Golly, man, this thing hurts my head. So my my prediction for the main event, we got uh, Shawn Michaels, Triple H, and Tori Wilson versus Randy Orton in a in a handicap match. Oh Johnny Nitro, I forgot about Johnny Nitro. But holy shit, I'm close. So ECW every week, Shad versus Mark Henry, and then something weird, and then a main event with too many people. <laughs> Not too many people, but three and a half, three, two, three and a half star shows. SmackDown was a three and a half star show, so I'm fucked. Uh, three and a half star match with the Cruiserweights. This was actually supposed to be a ladder match in gameplay. Four star title match, not bad there. Three and a half star match with Elijah Burke and Mysterio. Four and a half star parking lot brawl with Snisky and Edge. And then a four star uh, main event. Only get a three and a half star show. Injury free month. That gives me another check, another percentage point. Thank you. Thank you, Vince. Match of the week was the backstage brawl between Edge and not Kane. <laughs> okay, get Raw wins more fans for no reason. I'm only 310 fans away from uh, ECW, though, so they better be sweating. And. <laughs> I am 670,000 fans away from uh, Time Raw. So we got a ways to go, but we're not going to let it stop us. Power 25, let's just check this out. Undertaker, see, I feel like he should be at number one. Uh, not fucking Johnny Nitro. Not King Booker. <laughs> Mr. Kennedy, no. So many just weird things happen in the, in the universe of this show. Chavo Guerrero up at the power rankings big time. Number three. I like that. We might have to kill his confidence a little bit. Uh, MVP and Chris Masters, tag team champions, pop up uh, to number seven after being unranked because they weren't stable before. Alito number 12. Okay. Where's Kane at? Kane is number eight. And 
strange. It's so weird. We got. I know we've got some contracts to do, so we're going to check those out. Gregory Helms, King Booker. All right. Gregory Helms will be cheap. And then King Booker. Alito and then Jeff. No, I don't have him. Do all that cute stuff. However, I think these three guys I will not have to sign anymore. No, not quite. I'll have to give Kennedy, I think, one more contract. Maybe we'll actually just a little bit longer. We're getting real close, guys. Real close. So we're going to give Booker five weeks, and then we'll sign one of these guys. Galito. It's got to be Galito. And we got two the next week, three the following, four the following. Excuse me. We'll get a break before we have the fives. Okay, so we're doing fine. We are doing just fine, everybody. We've got a rivalry. Okay, so with that being said, we've done all the shenanigans we need to do. Oh no, we haven't even gotten to Friday. What am I doing, guys? I'm sorry. Um, as our as our roster continues to just climb in popularity, we're gonna shrink this this little bit down of the video just because you're watching me send the same few guys on trophy dates and stuff like that. And I'm gonna start probably start skipping uh, some of these events and the days just because I don't know if we're going to turn injuries back on with the way that these fatigues just be staying up here and everything and we're not getting to Friday to do the next show's uh, match card anyway so it doesn't really matter um, yeah those fatigues are pretty gnarly so we're going to let you off here guys we are going to let you off here so thank you for watching the video if you made it this far I've said it time and time and I'm going to continue to say it you are a real one I appreciate you for making it all the way through. If you are here at this point of the video and you watched episode one of the series and you've been following along, just put a little hey -o. I doubt anyone's gonna see this, but just put a little hey -o, and I will love you forever. <laughs> so guys, again, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, give the video a like, leave some feedback, leave that hey -o, um, whether you've been watching since episode one or not, you know, if you see this part, drop a hey -o and I will give you a heart in the, in the comment section. <laughs> so otherwise take it easy. Stay tuned. We'll be back at you soon. Later.